Alright, so check this out. Unhinged. The most unhinged thing ever just happened to me, and I honestly don't even know where to start. I'll try to start at the beginning. I'm a 41-year-old female, and I have a daughter that's 23. We don't live together, and she's all grown up, but we do try to get together every couple of weeks and just spend some time together. Tonight, we went shoe shopping and decided to stop next door of the shoe place at Ruby Tuesdays for dinner because we were hungry. We didn't really want Ruby Tuesdays, but it was close to where we were shopping, and we were both so hungry, so we agreed that we would just go there and get a quick bite. We get our table and we're seated by a woman wearing a pink handkerchief in her hair. She takes our drink orders and brings our drinks. A few minutes later, she takes our food orders. Time starts going by and the place has hardly anyone there. And my kid and I are just catching up. I notice a table next to me. Three women. Appears to be maybe three generations of women like a grandma, a mom, and an adult daughter. While waiting for our meal, I notice their plates are empty. Like, totally empty. But they keep taking bites. There's no conversation. The youngest of the group is sitting very upright and smiling and nodding. The middle-aged one of the group says, we should just get this wrapped up to go. But there's nothing on their plates. I sort of gesture to my kid like, are you seeing this? Beck is playing over the music speakers and I make a comment like, Beck is sort of a weird choice for Ruby Tuesday. I quietly sing along. Dave Matthews' band plays next, Crash Into Me. My kid says, you know all these songs. I reply, well, I'm a 90s kid, and we laugh. An hour later, we still have no food, and I'm wondering, do I want to be a Karen and ask when our food will come out? I politely flag a server and say, hey, I really have uh, work early tomorrow. Can I just pay for the drinks that we had and you can cancel my order? It's been an hour and we have to get going. The woman in the pink handkerchief says yes. She walks past me and I swear to God, I really do. She walked past me going in the same direction not five seconds later, stops, says your order should be out soon. I glance at my kid with that knowing look. My kid says quietly, I'm starting to feel really anxious. Can we just leave? I nod, relieved that it wasn't just me feeling weird. Dave Matthews' crash into me plays again, and we're really uncomfortable. Pink handkerchief server comes back around and says, The kitchen is backed up. Please don't leave. But I insist that we have to go. I pay, I leave a tip, and we get out of there. The whole vibe changed when we stepped outside. We went the whole car ride asking each other, did you see that? What the hell just happened? Everything felt bad. I'm not even hungry anymore considering I didn't even eat. Everything was really, really weird. My kid noticed it too. The Dave Matthews Band makes me feel uncomfortable too. Missing time. So this happened to me like 20 years or so ago. I was about 18. I got off the morning shift at work at around 11ish and went to make the one and a half kilometer walk over to my girlfriend's house. There was a snowstorm that day and it was a slow going trudge to get there. I remember feeling that it took longer than average to get there, maybe naturally given the weather. However, I arrived at her place at nearly 4.30 p.m. I have no worldly idea what happened and where those five hours went. Sure, it was a slow walk through the deep snow, but it certainly was no more than an hour. It's always bothered me where that time had went to. This person includes an edit that says, The interesting thing was everything was normal 
Up until one spot. It was in the suburbs, so there was a pathway, kind of like an alley. There were no cars, and only for pedestrians or bikes. Between two houses. It has a slight turn in it, so you can't see completely through it. Somewhere around that turn in the middle, that's definitely the spot where I felt the time disappear. I don't think objects are glitching. We are. I never thought this would happen to me, but here we are, and I had a witness. Today, I was bending over, cleaning something off the floor with kitchen wipes. I saw that the floor was clean, no more spill, and decided to wipe one more time to make sure it was disinfected. Suddenly, the spill was back and I was smearing it all over the floor. I jumped back and shouted, what the F? Where did that come from? My son was standing there, handing me the wipes and he said that the spill on the floor was there and that it wasn't all clean. I said, no, it was there and I cleaned it and suddenly it was back. I was wiping the clean floor one last time to make sure it was germ free and then suddenly the spill reappeared. He said he was watching me the whole time and didn't see me totally clean the floor, but the second that this happened, he was frozen and then suddenly unfroze. I felt like everything stopped and then started within a small amount of time so short that we can't perceive it actually happening, but I did, and I know others here have too. In that moment, when I saw the floor was clean and then realized it wasn't, I was there, but it felt like my body was on autopilot, and that I had left and came back within just a few seconds. I felt off, and I also felt like time slowed a bit, and then quickly sped back up. I don't think objects are disappearing and then reappearing. I think something is happening to us. I don't think the spill suddenly disappeared and then reappeared. I think I did. We're leaving and coming back, but when we come back to the same moment in time and space, something's a little different because we're coming back a few seconds earlier than when we left. It's like I left after the spill was wiped and then came back a few seconds later. Where we're going, I, I don't know, but it's happening outside of our perception of time. Either we're all totally crazy and losing it or having a collective episode of insanity, or something's happening to us that we don't understand. Hey, it's me. Guess who's sick again? Dude, this winter to spring transition is just killing me. Um, so my vocal register is a little bit lower than normal and I probably sound a little more whisperier than normal. It just hurts the least to talk like this. Uh, and if this is something that you deem unforgivable, then just know I, I'm apologizing for nothing. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Weird writing on my stomach appears out of nowhere and then vanishes within minutes. About 12 years ago, this weird ass thing happened to me. I was at a friend's house and it was three of us in total. We had just arrived and we went to his basement to hang out. Within like five or 10 minutes, I was laying down, watching TV, chilling and my shirt was like kind of up and I had my hand resting on my stomach. My one buddy notices writing on my stomach and mentions it. I look down and I see like this paragraph of 150 to maybe, maybe 200 words worth of writing in black font on my stomach. It was perfect, with no smudges, it looked like someone tattooed it on. Actually, that was my first thought, like, who the F tattooed me while I was sleeping? I know that's a weird thing to think, but I didn't know what else to think. I even licked my finger and tried to rub it off, but nothing would smudge. My other buddy was like, 
Hey, it's written backwards. Let's go see if we can read what it says by looking in a mirror. So we all three, scared as foretold, go upstairs to the bathroom to try and read it. I lift my shirt up and then I see it literally unwrite itself off my body before it vanishes. The way it came off me was like writing in reverse. So if you filmed yourself writing something and then watched it in reverse, that's how it came off me. Still, to this day, no idea what the F that was or how to explain it. Do you have any thoughts? All eyes on me, wondering if this has happened to anyone else. It was the summer of 2019, and I was with an ex who had three daughters. We decided to take them to a local fair, and it was one of the last nights, so it was packed. He had taken his oldest with him to go on a ride that the two little ones couldn't go on. I had gotten them tickets, and we walked around going on different rides for three and four-year-olds. I had one on each side of me and they were holding my hand. We had to walk around the fair to get to the one ride that they wanted to go on when time seemed to slow down. It was probably only a few seconds but it felt like an entire eternity. I remember all of a sudden everything got real slow and there was no noise at all. I couldn't hear talking, the rides, nothing but my own heart and everyone that passed was staring at me. It's hard to explain, but all of a sudden, every single person that I passed while walking were suddenly just staring at me in a look of horror. I remember it feeling like they were all actors, and for that brief moment, they were scared that I realized what was going on. I can't explain it properly, but I remember it felt like they knew me in some way. It wasn't just one or two people who were staring at me, it was every single person that we passed, they stopped what they were doing and gawked at me as if I was the center of everyone's attention. I remember it felt like things were coming to a head, and then all of a sudden, sound returned. People went back to being normal, and time sped back up. I've never forgotten about this and was just thinking about it this morning, wondering if anyone else ever experienced anything like this. I was not under the influence of anything, and this is one of many strange experiences that I've had during my lifetime. My house burned, and I think I shifted. My house burned down last year, and since then, I've been noticing strange inconsistencies but I could never really put my finger on it. Until today, I had my biggest one. My sister was talking about signing up to uni and the pathways, and I referred to my bachelor's, but suddenly, my mother said I only finished an undergraduate degree. What the F? I'm 28. My whole life after I graduated, I've been saying and knowing for a fact that I had a bachelor's. I remember studying for three years for God's sake, which is additional to my previous accreditation with an advanced diploma. She says it was only a year and a half. The problem is my bachelor's paperwork burned in the fire along with my entire room and I can't find myself on any online database. My passport and birth certificate and everything burnt as well. I'll call the school to try and figure it out on Monday but either way, no matter the result, this is so weird and just adds to the other weird things. Everything is just off. This person includes an edit that says, I meant she thought I had an associate's degree. I realize in Australia, bachelor's is undergrad, and I'm just really in a confused state. The main thing is the missing time and the differing memory on such a key thing that I was so sure of.
a flock of birds just insta-died in front of me. There were a flock of birds flying around where I was driving. They got pretty close, about 10 meters away from me, and they suddenly all just died, got paralyzed, or something like that. Around 15 birds were now just either motionless or convulsing out of nowhere in front of me. There were no electrical lines around anywhere. I remember it so vividly because I immediately checked if there was anything hazardous around that might bite me in the ass too, but nothing was in sight. Just empty pavement. Could there be any rational explanation as to what I just witnessed? Maybe they built up a charge from hanging around electrical lines? I mean, I don't know. What do you think? My partner switched places with an alternate version of themselves before switching back. For context, I am 21 and have been with my partner for going on six years. They're not the type of person to play pranks on me, but for an hour or so, maybe two or three years ago, they were a completely different person. They looked the same, talked the same, laughed the same, but their stories of us were very different. In that timeline, we'd met senior year of high school. They lived with their dad, they had a brother and a sister, and we lived in a different state. But me and my partner actually met in sophomore year. Their dad wasn't in the picture, they have two sisters and no brother, and we live in Oklahoma. We talked for an hour or so, and I was on the edge the entire time begging them to tell me that they were joking, but they never did. I brought it up not long after and they told me about that timeline as well. Same details, but the uncanniness of it all was that the recording I took on my phone of the incident was corrupted. I had sent the video to a friend and it was corrupted on their phone too, but they remember getting it and listening to it so it wasn't like I sent them something else. I don't know what happened and I still don't to this day. My partner still swears up and down that it wasn't a joke, a prank, or anything like that. If you guys have any ideas, please feel free to share. This person includes an edit that says, After reading a bunch of comments and thinking about how they did tell me that they had OSDD, I never thought this was a symptom of OSDD or anything like this. Thank you. Weird thing happened today. I have a part-time job that entails me walking around a small town all day. I have the ability to slack off and so I do. So every morning I get a coffee and bring it to an old man that runs a small local specialty shop. I sit in his shop and we chat for about an hour a day. I know his tiny 400 square foot store pretty well. His radio, what's in the store, stuff like that. Today, while I was sitting in there, he looked uh, a little off. I don't know how to explain it, but he looked like he didn't feel well. I even asked him and he said he was fine. He wears the same shirt every day to do his work. It's like an apron to him. That also wasn't on him today at first. As we're sitting there, I hear loud and clear a PA system say something and cut off suddenly. Almost like a voice put out into the air. Like a voice from nowhere, but with the static of a PA. Clear as day from within the store. I asked Tony, the shop owner, and he didn't hear it. But immediately after it, he changed into his work shirt and started acting normal. It was almost like a movie and someone told him to get into character and then he was just regular. I couldn't make out what the voice said, but I was so weirded out by this. This happened a decade ago, but I still can't explain it. 
I recently shared this experience with my boyfriend after we'd experienced some maybe paranormal stuff and I figured I'd share to see if anyone knows what this was because it doesn't seem paranormal, although it is weird. Maybe about 10 years ago, I was working as a manager at a small-ish restaurant chain. I'd been with the company for a while, but was fairly new at this location. It was in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, USA, which probably doesn't mean anything to most people. But the two jobs I'd had prior in that town are a little locally famous for being haunted. I'd had my share of ghost sightings and weird stuff, but this, this was different. The building here was three floors. Bottom was an antique store and half of the restaurant. Then the second floor was all restaurant. On the third floor was an abandoned ballroom with all glass walls that likely once overlooked a lake behind the property. But a hotel had been built since and blocked the view. Super creepy space, but nobody ever went up there. Might be irrelevant, but that's the property. We had a pretty bad snowstorm this particular day. I'd been shoveling and salting the walkways and went in to start my shift. I'm walking from the kitchen on the second floor and down a couple of steps to the dining room area and something hit me. I squeezed my eyes shut, brought my hands up to my face and fell back a little and yelled out, come on guys. In the moment, I thought someone had taken a bucket of rock salt and threw it at me. It felt like thousands of little pieces of something hard pelted me on my whole body. I was half expecting it to be a prank, but I opened my eyes after a bit and was like pulling on my shirt to check for salt or something in my bra because I felt it literally everywhere. But there was nothing there. Once I realized I was fine and not covered in a pile of salt or rocks or whatever, I looked around and two of the waitresses were just staring at me, like stopped setting tables wide-eyed. Because their perspective was that I just stopped, put my hands up to my face to shield something, fell back, yelled, come on guys, and then started pulling on my shirt like I was trying to shake something out of it. They saw me react, but nothing would cause the reaction. I'm not sure exactly what that was, or what it could have been. Someone I knew died twice in two different ways and it was in the newspapers. I went to a high school in a very small, one stoplight sort of town. A few years after school, I was catching up with an old friend and she told me how these two boys that we both knew pretty well had passed away. We'll call them Josh and Sean. I asked what had happened and she sent me the news article about how they were working in a shop and an air compressor had exploded and killed them both. Fast forward a few years later and somehow it came up in a conversation that I was having with my dad. I decided to try to find the news article that I had previously read about it. Instead, I found an article about how Josh had been shot by people who broke into his house looking for drugs. There was actually a lot of detail in the article about the incident, and it was an unsolved crime. There was no mention of Sean at all, and I couldn't find any articles about anything happening to him. I don't have any connections anymore to anyone in the town, so I can't check to see if anyone else remembers it the original way. It's just crazy, because I remember vividly reading both articles. I know for a fact that it wasn't just someone with the same name for two different reasons. First, he had a very unusual last name, and it was a very small town. Second. There were actually pictures of him provided in both articles and it was 100% the kid that I knew from school. Another strange twist is that I looked up the story again just now to see if there was anything new. 
It seems the case was solved and four or maybe five people went to prison for it. The second story has also now been featured in an episode of a TV series that I've never heard of. I'm considering trying to track it down so I can watch it. My dog confirms the glitch. First of all, forgive me if something is not written well. English is not my first language. Well, there I was, playing video games in my room with my dog lying next to me and my boyfriend working on the computer in his office, which is opposite, but at a considerable distance since my house is quite big. I listened to him start to have a conversation with a colleague over the headphones. Whenever he concentrates on talking, he starts walking around the house, so I'm not surprised to hear him walking away towards the kitchen. My hallway is long and it echoes and I heard him talking as he crossed it. And once there, he starts moving things around in the kitchen. I thought he would want to eat something, as did my dog, who immediately raised his head listening to the noises and ran towards the kitchen. What happened next is that I immediately heard his voice much closer. He has a high-pitched voice and I even got a little scared. I raised my head and I saw him leaving the next room, still focused on the conversation. I thought my ears had deceived me and that he was there the whole time until I looked down the hallway and see my dog arrive who stares at my boyfriend, very puzzled, and then turns his head a couple of times towards the kitchen and then again to my boyfriend. Would he be so focused that he teleported away without realizing it? Did my dog come in to see him in the kitchen? The poor guy just seems really confused. I don't know how to explain to him that sometimes the Matrix just fails. Time glitch in Washington State. Okay, so this happened in April of last year. My mom and I were on a road trip together in another state driving on a state highway north of the major interstate, probably 60 or so miles. We wanted a better experience than typical highway driving, so it was a great scenic route. We were driving through vast swaths of farmland in small ag communities spread out every 45 or 60 minutes of driving. So we're out there, if you will, hours away from the nearest big city. It was absolutely beautiful, by the way. I was in passenger, just enjoying the scenery. About three-fourths of the way to our destination, the speed dropped to 25, and the road took a hard, blind left turn into a very small town. Unlike the other ag towns where you can see them on the approach and slow down and drive through them, this one came up abruptly and it kind of felt like the highway just dumped us into this town. It was very, very tiny, maybe three blocks total, and we were out. But what we saw was crazy. A 50s themed diner an old gas station with the traditional pumps, a Wild West themed general store, and in the craziest part, there were a handful of classic cars from the 40s and 50s that all appeared to be in great condition. It looked like they were just parked. There weren't any car shows or people walking around viewing them either. My mom wanted to stop and get some coffee but something in my gut was off and I said, no, hell no, this place is freaky. She then made a comment that it felt like the place was right out of the 50s and they've kept the theme going. To me, it was giving major sundown town vibes or something. I couldn't place a finger on it. Something was just weird. It took all of 25 seconds to drive through and to get back to a faster speed limit, and we were off. We wrapped the vacation up a few days later, and that was that. 
I've recalled that experience quite a few times in the past few months and finally, last night, I wanted to look into this place. I traced our route on Google Maps and after searching for quite a bit, I eventually found it and I checked it out on Street View. Much to my surprise, the Street View looked nothing like my memory. The general store was different, the diner was different, and even the damn gas station with the cool retro pumps, well, that was gone. In its place stood an RV storage with a few tiny campers. And the image date was from after our trip, so perfect, they changed it. No issue though, I click on the picture from 2022 before our trip, and much to my utter horror, the only thing different in the older images were the campers. I asked my mom about it today, and she explained the town exactly as I remember it, then also brought up how I made a comment about feeling uneasy, and how she wished that she stopped anyways. Well, I showed her the street view images and she got freaked out too. And yes, the town on Google Maps is the same one that we drove through. There aren't any other places on that road that cut hard left. I'm 100% certain, and my mom was able to zoom in and eventually find it herself. I literally asked her to do that for my own sanity because this is just freaky. I've been looking through others' experiences, but I can't find anything similar to this. Has anyone heard or experienced firsthand anything like it?